All right, ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself. We're going to break this down through a convict's eyes. I'm going to give you all my honest opinion on this situation, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and start off with who these people are. So the girl that you're seeing right now is Gabby Petito. She's getting pulled over because they had some kind of domestic disturbance. Her and her fiance, Brian Laundrie. While on the road, okay, her and her boyfriend went on a cross-country trip, stopping at all the national parks to help her grow her vlog channel. If I remember correctly, she said in the video that we're about to watch that she quit her job to go on this four-month journey across the country. But after numerous vlogs and a lot of trips to new parks and contacting her parents along the way, everything went radio silent. Everything went radio silent and her boyfriend returns back without her, I believe 10 days after the incident. But now uh, he's missing. It gets wild. I'm going to paint a couple of pictures for y'all, some possible uh, end results of what's going on with this situation. So let's get into it. Gabby Petito and her fiance is getting pulled over because someone's seen a domestic disturbance. It's Gabby Petito in tears on the day she and her fiance got into a nasty argument. We've just been fighting all morning. The police body cam video is a poignant contrast to the beaming Gabby we've seen in videos shot during her cross country road trip with Brian Laundry. The just released police video was taken August 12th. Cops pulled the couple's van over outside Arches National Park in Utah after a witness reported them arguing at a grocery store and called 911. What's your guys' names? Gabby. I'm Brian. Gabby, Brian, okay. What's going on? How come you're crying? I'm just crying. We've just been fighting this morning. <laughs> Some personal issues. The officer asked Gabby to step out and she explains what's going on. So they get into an altercation at this uh, little rest stop, grocery stop, whatever you want to call it, in the middle of freaking nowhere. What is this, Utah? It looks like Death Valley. I don't know. I've never been out west. But this damn uh, grocery store has to have been close to where they got pulled over. Because it looks like they're on the interstate, man. And I can't see the police hunting someone down on an interstate for a simple domestic. It must not have been too simple. The person that described the scene to the officers for them to go out in the first place probably described it a little more in depth than just a hey, they're arguing and pushing it might have looked or been a little more hostile that's why the cops probably tried pursuing it a little more i don't know but they had to have been close to the grocery store i can't see the cops searching miles and miles for a domestic disturbance but he's also in that white transit vehicle they're they're pretty popular but at the same time they stick out like a sore thumb but let's move forward and see what she has to say. Step out and she explains what's going on. I just um, quit my job to travel across the country and I'm trying to start a blog. I okay. just have a blog. So, so I've been building my website, so I've just been really stressed. Then laundry is questioned. Tell me what's going on. It, your suit gets worked up sometimes. Gabby told police. Right there off the break, guys seem kind of cooped out. I don't know, that's just my honest opinion. If you were to roll up on me and start talking to me like that, I would say, man, this guy might be a little off. Or emotional. Or emotional. And one more thing that we have to just throw out there in the open. She said she quit her job so she could do this vlog experience. Tried to build her vlog channel. So that right there is leading down one path that people will think. Could it be a hoax to boost her ratings? I personally don't think so, but that is a route that could be taken. But young people these days, man, they'll do anything for clout. I'm not saying in any way, shape, or form that that's what's happening here. It's just a picture. I told you I was painting a few of them for you. But let's watch his uh, body language when he talks to the police officers first. It's a little weird. A little creeper style. Laundry is questioned. Tell me what's going on. Your suit gets worked up sometimes. Gabby told police she has OCD. She said she was afraid laundry was going to drive off and leave her stranded at the grocery store. She apparently scratched him during the back and forth scuffle. You want to tell me about those scratches on your face? She had stuff on her hand. That's why I was pushing her away. Now, let me stop it really quick. Okay, we're going to play it back one more time. But if you look closely at his body language, it really looks like he's actually the victim. Almost like if I were to see it in reverse, something that the female would say to protect her husband. You know that she loves but doesn't want to see him go to jail and that's what makes this story so interesting because the guy by the video footage and the way he's saying stuff it really doesn't seem like he's qualified to take anybody's life let alone hers so this is a very strange case but you know people can put on a mask very easily right definitely definitely can i see it every single day she said to the police that she was scared that he was going to leave her there 
or leave her somewhere. She seems to be honest with her answers, so that would give you a little taste of his craziness if he were to have threatened her by leaving her there. Anyone could have a wild side to him. Now, they told police they were still in love, but after all that time together, the tension had been building until it erupted in tears and shoving. Gabby, still distraught, says being pulled over by the cops added to the stress. I just saw the lights come on, and it was more just like you're an idiot. One officer takes photos of laundry scratches. I'm not going to see anything. I'm not going to say I love her. Then an officer asks Gabby this question. When you slapped him those times, were you attempting to cause him physical pain or physical impairment? Was that what you were attempting to do to him? All right, so Gabby does not look to be harmed in any way. Her fiancé, Brian, has scratches on his body that the police officers took pictures of, and that's normal. But one thing is not normal to me. I don't know how they do things. I believe they said they're in Utah. But I don't know how y'all handle things out there asking questions like this. You know, over here, if someone has scratches or something violent done to them and domestic disturbance, someone's going to jail. Someone's going to jail. And it's always usually going to be the one that has harm done to them. Or at least it shows, you know, with scratches, a little bit of bleeding, maybe some swelling. She's getting an option from an officer. See how he's wording this question right to the point where you know, falls in line with the law, I guess you could say probably. Just to check his ends, he has to word it right. And anyone speaking to the police, you have to word what you're saying right as well, or else you're going to jail. But he asked her, when you slapped him those times, were you attempting to cause him physical pain or physical impairment? Was that what you were attempting to do to him? Of course she's going to say no. Is that the loophole to get out of every domestic disturbance? I don't know, but uh, this is the question he's asking her. But if both parties don't want to press charges, usually, you know, officers will work with them, especially if it wasn't something too serious. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, if the female was injured, that's a different story. Whether you want to believe it or not, it's a different story. I can almost guarantee homeboy would have went to jail if she had any kind of mark, scratches, or anything on her. If I had to bet it all, he would have went to jail. They wouldn't have asked that man that question at all. But that's just me. I don't know how Utah police work. You know, I'm just used to the police around here. Is that what you were attempting to do to him? No. What were no. you? I was trying to get him to stop telling me to calm down. I was trying to get him to stop saying to me to calm down. I guess that fits the loophole, right? You know, these officers are probably really regretting not locking someone up now. The officers are probably saying to themselves, if we locked her up, man, this probably could have stopped everything. She wouldn't be missing right now. And, uh, you know, anything that might have transpired, whether it was between them or someone else, you know, it, it could have just changed the path of life if we just only locked her up or him up. But they did what most officers do. They separate them. Gabby sobs as the cop tells her that he's made a decision whether to charge her or not. You're 22, right? So I'm choosing not to cite you today. Laundry was not charged either, but at the cop's insistence, he and Gabby spent the night apart to cool down. Officers gave him a ride to a local hotel. I just don't usually drive the van, so I just want to make sure it's not like far. Now, the biggest red flag here of all of them is he shows up home without his girl, his fiance. Why? And then upon his arrival, he lawyers up. He's not speaking about this situation at all with nobody except for his family and his lawyer. And now he just so magically happens to be missing. Or hiding, whatever the case is. Let's break this down just a little bit more. But this is another weird thing about the situation. Why would he lawyer up? If he was just coming home to get some supplies and go back on the run because he's guilty of something, why would he get a lawyer? You never know. Right? I'm a parent of four daughters. I don't even want to think or put myself in the father's shoes with the missing daughter. But let's go ahead and put ourselves in the shoes of someone that might have had a son that committed a crazy crime. The parents were probably like, look, we're going to get a lawyer and we're going to fix this. Okay, we're going to get a lawyer. Tomorrow, first thing smoking, we're getting a lawyer. No questions asked. We're going to get this fixed. You ain't do nothing. That's what you're saying. We're going to get it fixed. They get a lawyer. You know, he might be thinking to himself, yeah, we could get it fixed. But then he starts realizing, no, they're going to smoke my damn boots. Goes on the run, bags up his shit, starts hitchhiking out of town because he's guilty of something. Something is not adding up here. Guiltiness is all over the place. And if I were to bet all my chips on this situation, I can almost guarantee someone wanted to split up from the relationship. 
and that wonderful dream of being a vlogger out in the wild like they see many others doing went to shit rather quickly. Emotions got involved, rage got involved, and I think if you were to ask me, sad to say, and prayers to the families that are involved in this situation, if you were to ask me, that man might just be guilty of something very heinous. No one doesn't just come home without the love of their life unless something crazy happened or the love of their life just didn't want to live that life no more and started something new. Went radio silent and cut off her parents and everyone that she loved. I don't see that happening, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, I can't stress this enough. Prayers to all the families that's going through this, man. I can't even imagine. Like I said, I got four daughters. If homeboy came home without my daughter after that long-ass trip and no one knew or heard anything from her, he probably wouldn't have had a chance to pack any bags. But that's just me. Hypothetically. You know, like OJ's book. Hypothetically. And be ready for later on tonight. It's Saturday. You know I gotta bring the comedy. As always, I salute to every last one of you been supporting me since the beginning and everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.